Jesus was crucified. We say it in the creed. It means uh, that he has redeemed me, a lost and condemned person, purchased and won me from all sins, from death and the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy, precious blood, his innocent suffering and death. God bore the cross for you, for me, for all of the world. And it actually gives us a value to hang on to that isn't rooted in ourselves. It's not rooted in what we can build, that our good outweighs our bad, that we can somehow sit on a cosmic scale and hope it at least balances. Instead, our value is in this. God died for you. Because that's actually what value is. Nowhere else in the whole rest of the world is value rooted in what something can do. Like, why is a diamond worth so much compared to a car? They're, they're, one can do a whole lot more than the other. You recognize that, right? But people will spend sometimes even more on the rock than on the, the, the ride. Why? It's not about what you can do. It's about what somebody's willing to pay for you. That's what value is. That's all value is. You are worth precisely what somebody is willing to pay for you, which is also why cars can be worth different amounts to different people. Why diamonds are just not a thing that some people want and something other people really do. You are worth what somebody was willing to pay for you. And you are worth more than gold or silver, but the holy and precious blood, the innocent suffering and death of God. Your value is rooted in this, that God who can see every last thing that you would hide from everyone else so that you wouldn't feel less valuable. Everything that you would hide from yourself so that you wouldn't have to actually confront guilt, sin, shame. God saw all of those things and the things that you even thought, and he still loved you enough to die for you. Your value is this, one death of God. That's more precious than anything you can earn. And that's good because it means that your value has already been established whenever you go out there to try and love your neighbor. When we, we go out to embrace good works, and we do, we, we try and love our neighbor even as we love God. You don't have to earn anything by loving. You're already loved. You don't have to earn anything to become more valuable, to become more Christian, to become more saved. You are already these things because that price was already paid for you. You were bought with the blood of God. Jesus was crucified for you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.